Cool sign. Hey, what's going on, guys? Canade69 Gamers here, and welcome to uh, my first video since I got back from New York City. I just got back last night, or I guess this morning, technically. Um, huge. Oh my god. Uh, first of all, before I get into anything, because I have a lot of stories to tell, which I'm going to tell in this video, so just a heads up, this is going to be a very, very long video, but if you want the quick version, uh, I had the time of my life. Uh, probably the greatest trip I've ever fucking been on, um, by miles, like, believe me, I, I travel quite a bit, like, I've been to every major city, like, in the, in the US, I've been a few places in Europe, like, I've been to London, like, <laughs> I've been, where, where the fuck? London was probably my favorite, like, that I'd been to, but, like, I've been to Rome, like, I've been to those, I think those are only two places, in, yeah, there's only two places in Europe I've been to, but, but, yeah, like, London was my favorite over that, but besides the topic, that's so out of topic, um, yeah, the point is, I travel a lot, and New York is probably my favorite place, um, and, okay, this is directed to Matt, and anyone else who lives in New York, I know, Tabby, you do, but you're not, like, in the city, kind of, yeah, but whatever, I, Matt, I, I think you live in Long Island, I don't know, I remember you kind of saying something, but this is directed towards you guys, you guys are, like, oh my god, super fucking lucky that you live anywhere near the fucking city, like, if I lived within, like, an hour drive of the city, at least, I would drive there every fucking weekend, like, I would go every weekend and just chill, like, that is, honestly, New York City was my, the, the, my favorite fucking place, like, I could honestly stay there forever, I was only there for three days, but, Intended two days, but I'll talk about that later. My flight's a bitch. Um, but yeah, I have so many stories to tell. So again, if you wanted the short version, then that was kind of your little bit. Um, I, I love New York City. It is, I, I got so many souvenirs and shit like that. I got, you know, like, I, <laughs> I love NYC shirt, all that kind of shit. Uh, but yeah, most incredible place I've ever been to. So thank you, mother, for fucking getting my tickets and shit. She paid, a, she's pro she spent, like, my mom was like, basically in charge of the trip or whatever she spent like three grand in three days so she fucking oh my god so so happy that she actually took me but i got super super lucky so thank you i know she's not watching anyway but still thank you um okay so where do i fucking begin uh so i flew out from toronto one hour flight no biggie i got there pretty sick um I, oh my god, I was so happy, because, like, the weather was so amazing the whole fucking time, up until, like, two hours before I had to leave, there was a big, massive fucking, like, a really crazy-ass storm, which I'll talk about later, because that really fucked up my day, um, but yeah, so, we went, what, what did we do first, I'm trying to think what we did first, um, I'll talk about the highlight things that I did, because I can't, I'm not going to talk about everything I did, because you guys would get totally fucking bored, um, what I did do actually was pretty cool. I got um, like a bus tour of 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 every single part of the city. So I got like a so there was a tour of like um of like uptown. There was one of like downtown, and um, then they kind of took you into like the Brooklyn area. There was like a Bronx tour. There was like all, all that kind of shit. So I so I like did all that, which was pretty awesome. Um, my tour guy was a really, really cool, like, he was, like, a Jamaican guy, and he just told really, really cool stories about, like, different buildings and shit like that, so that was pretty cool, I thought, um, my mom enjoyed it, too, but, yeah, it was, it was pretty sweet, got a fuck ton of pictures, so, um, uh, I'm putting them up on my personal Facebook, but I might put a couple, like, in this video, just of the things that I'm talking about, just so you guys can see, um, some of them anyway, but, but yeah, so we got all the tours. Actually, a really, really neat thing for me is um, there was a restaurant in, in Times Square. Because, oh, by the way, my, my hotel was in Times Square. If you guys are curious what it was, it was the President Hotel, like uh, like Best Western. That was in the middle of Times Square. So that was pretty sweet, I thought. Because um, you could just kind of like walk outside and you were in Times Square. And it was just the coolest view in the world. Um, but yeah, I, I love New York. Honestly, it is my favorite city on the planet. Um, but yeah, sorry, back to the restaurant. This restaurant, I don't, I don't know if you guys have, have ever been to New York, you'll put, you've probably eaten here. Uh, Bubba Gump restaurant based off of the movie Forrest Gump. Um, the whole restaurant was like Forrest Gump themed. Like actually, like there was, um, for example, um, when you walk upstairs to where like you could eat, there was a bench with Forrest, like with, you know, with like his briefcase and his shoes were on the floor and you could get like your picture in his shoes and shit like that. But that's nothing. The, um, there were Forrest Gump quotes like on the tables and the... 
uh, menu was a fucking ping pong paddle. Like, this shit was so awesome. And there was, like, like uh, memorabilia, like, over the walls. They had, like, signed... Um, they had, like, a, like, Forrest Gump's, um, like, college jersey was actually signed by, like, Tom Hanks and shit like that. Like, they had, like, this really, really cool, cool stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it, it was so cool. So, I got, um, a shirt, actually, from that restaurant that says... I might actually get a picture of it for you guys so you guys can actually see it. But it's a license plate that says, Stupid is a stupid does. Uh, New York, Times Square, the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. And it has his, like, smiley face, like, logo on it. If you, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but you, if, you'll know what I'm talking about if you hear that. Um, but yeah, the food was actually fantastic. Because, of course, if you've ever seen Forrest Gump, the and, uh, like, by the name, the whole restaurant was, like, shrimp-themed, um, right? Well, they didn't only sell shrimp, but shrimp was, like, their main thing. Um, but they sold different kinds of shrimp and stuff like that. And um, I ordered, like, it was, like, a huge... Um, just a big variety of different kinds of shrimp and like one kind of thing, which is fantastic. Like it actually tasted so good. And our, um, like our waiter, he did like four scum trivia and shit like that. And I think I only got like one question wrong, but it was really dumb. The question was like, like what was, um, like Ginny's like college room number. And it's like, it's like they only show it like once in the movie, but okay, I'm going so off topic, but, um, but don't like put in the comments. This was her room number. You dumb. Okay, I know. He told me what the room number was after. Like, so I know what it is now. I just didn't know at the time because I haven't seen that movie in years. But whatever. So I did great in the trivia. That restaurant was really really cool. Uh, other restaurants we went to. If you guys are curious, we went to the Olive Garden, which was I did not like the food. Uh, I was expecting it to be better. Uh, I ordered like a pasta and it was not good. The sauce was extremely like hot and like not hot hot, but it was like um like Mexican fucking like sauce hot like it was hot as hell i was like fuck this shit um plus the fucking food took like half an hour to fucking get to the table like it was ridiculous but yeah i did not like the olive garden personally uh that was a restaurant that I actually re really really wanted to go to because i heard it was so it's so good but besides that um then the, the, the next day we went to um for dinner no, yeah for no well it's kind of like a late lunch but we went to uh uh, room service which was like a thai restaurant and it was pretty good actually i actually pretty enjoyed the food it was it was a nice little restaurant uh, that's when it started raining though so it was kind of a good time but this is one thing that i have to talk about one thing i definitely have to talk about here um we went to the uh the, well <laughs> the rockefeller center i know i mean that's if, if you go to new york you cannot not go to the fucking rockefeller center but we went there we went up to the uh like, the NBC part of the building, and we got a tour of the, um, like, the NBC studios, which was really, really fucking cool, so we got to see, like, the Saturday Night Live set, which I, which, I mean, like, I'm a huge Saturday Night Live fan, so that was the coolest thing for me, I got a Saturday Night Live shirt, it just, it's just a black t-shirt that says, like, Saturday Night Live in massive, like, like, white letters, so that was pretty cool, uh, they had some really, really nice shirts there, I actually wanted to get, like, a bunch of shirts, but I didn't have enough money, because I only had, like, a limited amount of, uh, U.S. cash, because, again, I'm Canadian, so there's only so much U.S. cash that we can get, right? Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, I was pretty limited to that, but I, I did get, I did still get some pretty uh, badass shirts, though. Um, but, yeah, so we got a tour of that. We got a tour, um, like, we got to see the, uh, actually, Ben, you'll like this if you're watching. We got to see the, uh, like, the Sunday Night Football studio, like, where they, like, record, like, the halftime show and shit like that. That was pretty cool. Um, got to see, like, a, it was, like, a newsroom uh, shit like that, but I don't know, like, it was just, it was, like, Fox 8 News or something like that, I don't know, it was really weird, but that was cool, too, I mean, like, I, the whole thing was cool, we went to the top of the rock, you know, like, the 30 rock thing, uh, we got to, I mean, like, it, there is a most beautiful view in the world, but the elevator is super fast, you go, we went up to the 67th floor, which is the highest, 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 highest floor in the building, and it got there, they said, like, 40 seconds or something, it was, like, a really, really fast-ass elevator, there was really cool effects going on on the ceiling, and it, it was so high, I, my ears were popping and shit like that. Like, it was pretty high. 67th floor. Um, but, yeah. So, um, we did that. We went to the top of the rock. Got some great pictures. You know, like, the Empire State Building, which was awesome. Because it was at night, so the Empire State Building was all, like, it was, like, lit up in, like, a purple color. So, it, that was really, really cool. Uh, what else? What other buildings could we see from there? Pretty much every building. Oh, uh, we could see, by the way, we saw the Freedom Tower. And just speaking of this, too, we went, um, we went, uh, to where the Freedom Tower was, which was pretty cool. If you guys don't, if you guys live under a rock, those were that. That's the building that they built, in, I guess uh, commemoration of the 9/11 attacks, which was really really cool. Not the 9/11 attacks. The tower was really really cool to see. 
um, they had a, they had like a, a museum, like about the nine uh, eleven attacks, which I went to, um, which was pretty pretty sad actually. It was pretty pretty like rough stuff, um, you know, because like I, me being Canadian, you know, I have no like personal like connection to the attacks or anything like that. You know, so it's one thing to hear about it and read about it and all that kind of shit, but it's it's, it's another thing to see where it happened. You know, because we went like we got we got to see where the towers were and the big hole in the ground where like all the names are of the people. That was pretty sad actually. Well, we didn't get to we didn't get to go in there because it's not like, like open to the public yet, but we got to see it from like a distance. But we got to go right up to the tower. We got to see the museum, which was pretty neat. Um, pretty sad shit, like I said. So that was pretty crazy. Um. Like, there are pieces of, like, the plane that they had in the, like, museum. They had, like, names of people that were still missing. Like, that was pretty rough. But, uh, but yeah, that that's pretty sad shit. But that was really, really cool, though, like, at the same time. Like, because I've never even, like, seen anything like that. Like, I've been to a Holocaust museum. That was pretty rough, too. But, like, um, that happened so long ago. Just to see something that happened so recent, it's pretty crazy. Um, but, yeah, besides the fact phone i have a few texts i'm gonna keep talking anyway uh sorry uh i just got a bunch of friends asking me if i was home yet because i'll talk about that later uh but on the bright on the, the amazing thing is i missed like a week of school that was fucking great um as i hate my school i hate school in general i hate going to school it's fucking gay sorry <laughs> it's fabulous if you guys are pewdiepie fans i fucking hate pewdiepie but i've seen that video it's pretty awesome um what else did we get? Uh, where, where else did we go? Um, oh, okay, this was really, really cool. Um, well, f but we got a, uh, this is different from what I was planning on talking about, but we went to the, we got, like, a um, horse buggy ride in uh, Central Park, which was pretty cool. Uh, Central Park was gorgeous. Like, I've, um, like, I've heard a lot of things about it. Like, I've heard it's, like, the, it, apparently, from what I heard from our, the guy who was, like, riding the, the horse thing, apparently it's, like, the most, like, visited park like, in the U.S. or something like that, so that was pretty cool, I mean, like, the, the park was massive, like, uh, like, it's on the, the bus tour, um, pretty much the majority of the, of, like, the, uh, like, the uptown, was it uptown? Yeah, it was uptown, I think, um, um, the, the, pretty much the whole tour was, like, you, you would drive, because we drove for, like, an hour, and we weren't, and we went around Central Park driving, okay, I have to say this right now, for those of you that live in fucking New York City, I do not know how on a daily basis you handle the fucking traffic. It's okay, so I live in Toronto, right? The traffic here is pretty bad. Like, I thought it was bad. Well, because it is bad. Like, on the fucking 407 highway, it is nasty in the morning. On fucking rush hour and shit, that is bad traffic. But you, okay, guys, my Canadian friends who live in fucking Toronto, you will not see, you, you do not know fucking traffic until you fucking go to New York City. And Tabby, now I know what you're fucking talking about in terms of traffic in fucking New York. That traffic is fucking ridiculous. Like, it will take you. Like, you, you could get through the city fucking faster if you, like, walked at fucking 90-year-old man pace. Like, um, my taxi, like, on the way to our fucking hotel when we first got there. So, my hotel was in Times Square, like I said. We went to the, uh, fucking LaGuardia Airport, right? Or airline, or well, our airline was WestJet, but that's where we. That that was the fucking airport that we went to, um, Laguardia, or whatever. So we went through that airport, and the drive was like almost two hours. Like the traffic was awful. Um, like it's so bad, and the whole my, my whole trip, the traffic was just terrible. Because on our ride back to the um. Uh, airport like on our last day was even worse because it was pouring rain it, it was rush hour it was so bad so it probably took us even longer to get to the fucking airport that time so um so yeah that was really really bad um terrible 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 um so yeah, i'm just saying to you new york people i don't know how you fucking do it matt you are a saint tabby you are a fucking saint you i don't I, I would kill myself if i had to fucking drive in that shit like i would just like fucking kill me now um like i'd rather just fucking like i i saw guys on their bikes who just rode around all of the traffic like that is the smartest thing i fucking saw a person do they just went around everything and oh my god the drivers are nasty bro like there was this one guy who was who fucking because um by, by the way 
when you're walking places, I don't think I'll ever see that many people fucking walking in a street. Cause, I, cause like, I mean, we stayed up, stayed out in like Times Square till like 4 a.m. like every night. Oh yeah, I know badass over here, right? But yeah, we did that, which was pretty awesome. But like, even at th like 3 a.m., you will never see that many fucking people out and about at that time anywhere in the fucking world. Like we were in Times Square at 3 a.m. There was like a couple fucking thousand people out just chilling, and there was. All right, um. So we um we went to like a Mexican restaurant at like midnight and there was like no no it was later than midnight it was like one thirty maybe and there was it, it was like a full fucking house it was in a, a, a Mexican restaurant in like the middle of Times Square at one thirty a.m. and there was like it was like a full house fucking restaurant I was like holy shit why the fuck are, is everyone out at this hour like if we were in Toronto the place would be fucking dead like it would be dead right now like Jesus Christ. Like, I don't live in Toronto, like, if you guys know, I, I just say I do, because if I told you what town I live in, you guys would have no idea what the fuck it is, but it's, like, not, it's not far from Toronto, so it's, it's, like, a 20-minute 20, 20 drive, so, I mean, I may as well just say I fucking live in Toronto, but my fucking house, like, the city I live in, Burlington, by the way, is, like, fucking, like, uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually illegal to be out later than midnight, like, that's, like, it's crazy, like, you will see nobody nobody out fucking at that time for, for mainly because it's illegal I'm, well, no it, it's illegal to be walking but if you drive it's okay i think still you'll see no fucking cars anyway like new york is probably the only place you'll see it, even okay by the way when you're walking in this city I, I, if you live in new york you're probably just being like yeah yeah just a regular day this was fucking crazy for me because toronto guys to those of you in canada that have never fucking been to new york city New York City is so much fucking different. Like, I know you're like, yo, Toronto's crazy-ass shit. No, it is not. Like, you will s not fucking agree once you have fucking been in New York City, man. New York City is the real fucking shit. Um, like, yeah, New York City for the fucking win. Yeah, I'm at. Um, but, like, you, you okay, because when you're walking across the lights, you will never see that many fucking people walking directly at you in your lifetime. Because, you know, you're, you're waiting to walk. Like, at the light. By the way, like, we, we fucking, um, we jaywalk all the time here. If you guys don't know, don't know what that term means, walking across the street without, like, a light, without, I mean, while cars are still going, uh, which is illegal here. I don't know if it's legal there, but we still do it anyway. Because, like, nobody really, like, gives a fuck. But, um, but yeah, besides the fact, um, if you tried jaywalking in, in the fucking New York, you would get your ass fucking ran over. Because cars just go. Like, even, like, so many people fucking run red lights, it's not even funny. Like, they just fucking run through everything. I don't know why I'm fucking talking about traffic now, but I just feel like to get the New York experience in there, I gotta really fucking talk about it. Traffic's nasty, man. If you if you walk across the light before the light turns to, like, the walk sign from, like, the your red hand, you'll get your ass fucking ran over. And so many people did that, and, like, cars were honking at them and shit. By the way, the noise in New York City, I don't know how you guys fucking ha handle that either. When you're in New York City, all you fucking hear or well, you smell horse shit like 90% of the time, which is, I mean, you get used to it, but the sound, all you hear is construction or fucking cars honking. So that was kind of annoying after a while, to be honest with you. But besides the fact, again, New York City, greatest fucking city ever. Just saying, that was something I really had to point out. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, Central Park was cool. Um, I think the highlight for me personally, all right. So, by the way, uh... This was pr pretty awesome. Um, I've been told by people that, that live in New York, by people that go to New York all the time. If you go to New York, like whether you're like whether you want to or not, it's just part of the experience. You have to go see a fucking Broadway show. Um, so we did that. When we went, I, I, we actually just got our tickets last notice because I didn't really know what play to choose because I had two, two plays to choose from. Uh, Jersey Boys, which I'd seen already in Toronto. Uh, which I liked. It was like it was pretty good. Um, uh, w yeah, which was pretty good. So I wanted to go to that first because I just figured that I mean, like I knew for a fact that it would be good. Um, so like I knew that I would have a pretty good time watching it and that I would go away happy. And this other play was called Nice Work If You Can Get It, and I had never seen it anywhere. I'd never heard of it. I didn't know what the fucking story was about because on the fucking pamphlet. All it said was, like, the fucking reviews. It didn't say what the fucking play was about. Um, so we had to walk to the actual fucking theater, and the, like, lady working there had to tell us firsthand what the fucking play was about. 
I mean, which was helpful because then I actually knew what the play was about, and it sounded actually pretty good. So we ended up seeing that play. But what really, really drew me to that was that Matthew Broderick was the star of it. If you guys don't know who Matthew, Ma- Matthew Broderick is, first of all, you're living under a fucking rock. Well, not really, but he's Ferris Bueller in, in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, so he's a pretty famous guy. Um, and I'm a pretty big fan of his, so I was like, all right, well, if Matthew Broderick is in this, because it, um, it was like a um, romantic comedy th- type thing. Wasn't digging the fucking romantic part, but it, I, I'd heard from the lady working there that it was really, really fucking funny, because it, it got like, f- the play was like four stars, and like pretty much, I read like all the reviews, and they, everyone said it was really, really funny. And I love um, like comedy stuff, right? So I was like, okay, well, if Matthew Broderick's in it, it could be funny. It probably is funny. So I'll go. So I will. I will take your fucking word for it. I will go. So okay, before we went, okay. So in, in this app, I keep going off topic from everything I'm talking about. Whatever. So the afternoon previous to when we go uh, went to go see the play, um, two things happened, which just sparked good luck for the whole fucking day. My mom got shit on by a bird. Um, a bird shit on her head, which, of course, you know, is, like, apparently good luck, and we lit a fucking candle in this huge church, and my mom wished for us to have, like, an amazing trip. Both of those things came true, like, oh my god, we had a great fucking trip, but the luck we had from there is fucking crazy, like, I'm telling you, we had the most insane luck on the planet. I think our luck started here. So, we went to the play. I loved it. It was fucking great. Like, I had the greatest time at that play. Um, just the whole Broadway experience was fantastic. Um, like, I love going to plays and shit. Like, I'm not gay. I'm very, very straight, believe me. But I, I love seeing Broadway plays. And I was amazed how many people fucking dress up. Like, there were people in tuxedos and girls in crazy-ass dresses. But yeah, pr- for some people, Broadway's a huge deal. That's the bottom line. But, like, I could see how, because it was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, Matthew Broderick was great. Uh, he was hilarious. But now this is where the luck really fucking starts. So we go outside the theater, right? And, um, like, when the play's over, we, we go outside, and, um, we, we walk out to the right side of the theater, where it says it's, like, the, um, like, the actor's entrance, so where all of the actors, like, after the play, they will leave out of this door, and you can get, like, their autograph, and a picture with them, all that kind of shit. So, um, we kind of stood there for five minutes with a bunch of people that were all lined up to get pictures with, like, whoever was in the play, right? Um, and we find out that that entrance was for Pippin, which was another play that was going, which had a few pretty popular actors in there as well. So, um, so that was a pretty popular play as well, right? So that's, so, so we figured, because there were so many people there, it's like, yeah, they're probably waiting for Matthew Broderick, right? Like, to get, like, an autograph with him and all that kind of shit. But no, they were just really, really excited to meet the people from Pippin. So we find that, like, five minutes fucking later. So we're like, okay, so where the fuck is the entrance for nice work if you can get it? Because I want to fucking meet Matthew Broderick and get Matthew Broderick's fucking autograph. <laughs> like, I was freaking out, right? I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was freaking out at this point, right? I was like, holy shit. Where the fuck is this shit, right? So we look around, and there was no fucking entrance anywhere, right? So I was so bummed out. Like, I was bummed. I was like, fuck. Only reason I went to this play was to fucking meet Matthew Broderick. I mean, I was pretty pleased after because I actually enjoyed the play. But that was the main reason I fucking went, right? I was like, okay, Matthew Broderick is here. I need to fucking meet Matthew Broderick, right? Like, I was so, I was so fucking bummed. Like, honestly, I was gonna fucking cry. I was like, oh my god. So what the fuck was the point of even coming to this shit, right? It was wasted, like, $200. What, regardless, um, so we were, like, ready to leave. Like, we started walking down the street, and we left. By the way, we went to the Imperial Theater, if you guys are wondering. Sip of water, sorry. Okay, so we, so we, we, we were ready to leave. So we started walking down the street, and my mom said, Okay, let's go this way. It'll be faster. And it was about, it was pretty close to the theater. It was down like an alleyway, right? And at first, I was like, okay, this shit's sketchy, right? Because think about it, New York City, like one in the morning, dark alleyway. Like, I was like, all right, why the fuck would you want to go down here? You are, a, you are a woman. You are a grown woman. And I am a 15-year-old guy. You really think if like a bunch of black guys jump out and get ready to mug us, I'm going to fucking defend you? Fuck that shit. <laughs> it's like... It's like, fuck that. If a bunch of, like, ripped black guys with knives fucking run out of here, fuck that shit. Like, you can get raped all you fucking want. I, I didn't really say that, but I was thinking it. I was like, okay, fuck that. Okay, if you want to get raped, go ahead. But, yeah, regardless. So, we walked down this alleyway. By the way, we were fine. Nothing like that happened. I was just kind of sketchy about it. So, we walked down this alleyway, and we look. We look. And it's the... A bunch of people are fucking lined up, Right? And we look, we're like, oh my god, is that the fucking entrance for nice work if you can get it? And it was. It fucking was. 
we were about to fucking leave, right? And we wouldn't have fucking got his autograph. Or anything. We fucking left. Like, holy fucking shit, right? We were gonna leave. And my mom just got a fucking female instinct to fucking go down the fucking alleyway. I was like, I fucking love you right now. I gave her the biggest fucking hug ever. After that, I was like, alright, fuck off, bitch. And I ran over to the to where, to where everyone was. And we asked the guy, like the security guy, if Matthew Broderick had like left yet. And he said no. I was like, okay, our luck has fucking started. Thank you for getting, getting fucking shit on and lighting the fucking candle in the church. I was like, okay, this is great. So, by the way, I'm, I'm not Catholic. I just, I mean, I like to have good luck on my side. I guess you could say, and I'm pretty I'm pretty superstitious when it comes to shit like that, and my mom's strictly Catholic, so she was pretty excited about that, but yeah, besides the fact, shut up, phone, um, but yeah, so we went over there to wait, I swear to God, like, five seconds after we got there, Matthew Broderick walked out of the fucking door, I was like, okay, if we were, like, five minutes later in doing this, we would have fucking missed him, I was like, I fucking love you, mother, so we go over there, right? So, Matthew Broderick is signing autographs, getting pictures with people, so we were waiting our turn, because we were at, like, practically the end of the line, right? So, I was standing there, like, holy shit, I'm about to fucking meet Matthew Broderick, I was, like, oh, freaking out my ass, so I was, like, I was, like, just don't fucking piss yourself, alright? I wasn't actually saying that, but I'm just saying, I was, like, holy shit. So, Matthew Broderick was coming, right? I was, like, oh my god. So, I have my fucking playbill ready, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically, like, your play program. So, I had a piece of shit pen for him to sign it, right? I was, like, oh, this is not gonna fucking work. So, Matthew Broderick comes up to me, right? He has a fucking Sharpie. I was like, oh, thank fucking God. So he signs my playbill. So first of all, I get a fucking autograph with him. And then he asks for a picture. So I fucking wrap, we fucking wrap our arms around each other. And my mom to fucking takes a picture of me and fucking Matthew Broderick. I was like, oh my God. So, so after this, I gained a fear of like, of like losing my phone. Because we got a picture taken with my phone. I was like, alright, mom, take a picture w w with my phone. I After this, I gained the biggest fear of, lo of losing my phone. And because, by the way, we went to go see the Statue of Liberty in the, um, like, the ferry um, ride. Or, like, the cruise, whatever you want, you want to call it. Um, so, when we did that, I was like, okay. So, my mom, so, like, this is in, like, the Hudson River, right? So, we were just like, so, m my mom was sitting on this, um on like the edge of the boat with like a little railing and she was like come sit over here i was like are you fucking serious like i had honestly i had the biggest fear of dropping my phone and losing that picture like after i got that picture my phone was like the most prized possession that i had and now you guys are probably fucking like think i'm overreacting i was like freaking out i was like fuck you bitch i'm not going anywhere near the fucking water like, if I drop my phone, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's like, I'm gonna... If, if someone, like, bumps into me and I drop my phone, I'm gonna fucking kill them and their family. Like, I was freaking out. I was like, ah! So I was just like, okay. So I just kind of stood back and still got pictures of Statue of Liberty, and then it turned out fine. I did not drop my phone. My phone was fine. But I had, I was so stressed that I was gonna drop my phone. I was like, oh my god, do not drop your phone. So that was fantastic. Um... But yeah, my phone was a prized possession. And by the way, yeah, my phone's fine. I put that picture up on Facebook, so that picture is totally safe. But uh, but yeah, so Matthew, meeting Matthew Broderick for me personally was like the whole highlight of my trip, which is hilarious. Is I saw so many like I saw so many things on my trip. Like we did so much in in like three days. It is ridiculous. I don't think anyone else could possibly do more. Like we spent the whole time out doing shit and seeing sights and stuff like that. Like we we probably spent five minutes in the whole fucking hotel. I mean, besides for sleeping and shit like that, right? But we did we spent the whole fucking time out doing stuff. So that was fantastic. But yeah, meeting Matthew Broderick for me personally and seeing the play was the highlight of the trip. So that's, that's where our luck started. That's just where it started, man. Shit got crazy after that. Um, so when we went to go to this Thai restaurant, we uh, that day we heard that the weather was going to rain, right? And it didn't. The weather was fantastic. The weather was insane. The, whole, the weather for the whole three days was amazing. Of course, like I said, except from the, the last few hours that we were there, um... But besides for that, whatever. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just looking at my... P people are commenting on, on my picture with me and Matthew Broderick. Which I put up as my, now my fucking profile picture. Because it's fucking awesome! Um, but yeah, besides the fact... Sorry, I'm going so off topic. 
Um, what was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, luck. Thai restaurant. Um, eh, okay. So, uh, fuck. okay, yeah. So, um, we walk into the restaurant, right? We like order our food, all that kind of shit. I swear to God, the immediate second we walk into the restaurant, I look to my right, like, outside the door, and it starts pouring rain. And I was like, oh my god, our luck is number one. I actually gave my mom a fucking high five. I'm like, yes! <laughs> no one's stopping us now, I swear. So we, we had lots of other things that was major, 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 major luck for us. I could go on forever. But the point is, we got, we got amazing luck, right? So I'm, I'm just going on now. Um, I'm going to talk about the thing that just made my trip shit. Um, or that made my ride back shit. So, um, our flight was scheduled to be at 7.50 p.m. on, um, Thursday night. And, uh, we got to the airport, and all we hear in front of us, so it's pouring rain, right? There's storms like shit. So, it, it, we heard, uh, these two, like, women in the line, right? I overhear them talking, and well, me and my mom over here, because we are the biggest fucking e eavesdroppers ever. So we hear them talking. And the one lady says, did you hear the flight to Toronto was canceled and shit like that? And like, and like, we're all going to be st stuck here and we can't get a flight till like tomorrow at 4 p.m. So I was like, okay, what the fuck happened to Jesus? Did he just get fucking crucified? Like, that's actually what I said. Well, I, without the cusses, without the cusses, like, I didn't say fucking shit. That's what I said. Did Jesus just get crucified? Like, that's exactly what I was saying. That's exactly what I said. I'm dead serious. Um, I was like, oh my God, like, what the fuck? So like... Um, um, I was like, holy fucking shit. So there was like six people in front of us. We were really freaking out. Um, so this situation was, I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Our situation was about to fucking turn into that. Exactly. What we were going to have to do, so our plane would have been delayed like two days, apparently. Um, so what we were going to actually do, like I'm dead serious, we were going to have to fucking sleep at the hotel and get a bus back to Toronto in the, in the morning, which would have been like an eight, nine hour, I mean, no, not, not including traffic. So with traf without traffic, it's an eight hour bus ride. It probably would have been 12 or 13 hours for a fucking ride back to Toronto on a fucking bus with a hundred sweaty, tired people. That would have sucked. And honestly, so we fucking walk up and our lady, she was like, so she was ready to give us bad news, right? We could tell her face was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Her face was bad, so I was like, oh shit, so this shit's, so these, these ladies weren't fucking around, right? Like, they were like, so they weren't fucking, like, bursting my balls here, right? They were serious. So we fucking walk up, right? And she's just like, she's just like, uh, so what flight are you on? And we say, Toronto, 750. And she's like, are you serious? And we were like, no! And she was just like, uh, let me see. She looks on the computer, and she's like, you're here. And I was like, are you for fucking real right now? These bitches in front of us just gave us a fucking heart attack. Like, I was ready to, like, I, I wanted to fucking, fucking go into these ladies' fucking vaginas and rip out their fucking uteruses. Like, I was ready to fucking kill these bitches. I was like, oh my god. Like, I was fucking, I was like, ugh. I, I, I was so happy, though. So that, so this is where our luck once again started, but also got bad. Um, so, so we got to the, um, the airport at 4 30 p.m because our flight was at 7 50 or it, that's what it was originally supposed to be uh which fucking sucked ass but still i'm so, I'm, I'm, so, I'm such a rage quitter honestly so just excuse my rageness but so we fucking get there right and she's like oh your flight is still on but it is at uh it's apparently at 11 30 now 11 30 p.m so she said this is what she said this honestly made my fucking day or made, made my mom's day too she was like you, your flight at 11.30 p.m. to Toronto is the only flight getting out tonight. It's, like, the only flight getting out tonight to fucking, tr like, to pretty much anywhere. And we were like, are you fucking serious? Are you for real? That's where our luck fucking just got awesome. We, our flight was, like, the only flight fucking going out that night. Uh, 11.30. So, so this, it's 4.30 p.m. So, I mean, what sucked is that we had to fucking wait at, wait at the airport till 11.30 p.m. So, our flight was delayed, like, really fucking long. Our flight was delayed, like, four hours, right? Um, so, we had to wait at the hotel for how, like, how long? So, all right, here's what happened. Um, we got uh, food uh, 
vouchers, which basically gave us free food, so that was good. So we got like free dinner, free snacks, shit like that. So we just chilled at the hotel, uh, not the hotel, sorry, um, because we already checked out the hotel, so it's not like we can just go go back and chill. So we were at the airport for, um, let, let me see, and this is I, I haven't told you the story yet, so don't try and correct me on the math. I think this is true math. So four thirty, um. So we were at the, we, we waited at the ho- at the airport for eleven hours before we actually got out. No, ten hours. Sorry, until until we could actually leave and get on the fucking flight. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. So if you guys are wondering how I fucking survived, which believe me, I would normally not. I used my mom's um, iPad, and I watched movies. Okay, before I say what movies I watched, I'm not gay. My all my these are the only movies my mom had. Actually, I liked one of these movies. Um, well, I kind of liked them all but like there was one that i'd seen before and I, and I really really liked so the movies i watched just friends which is with um fucking i can't think of his name right now but um besides the fact just friends i watched crazy stupid love um with uh ryan gosling and steve carell um and i saw um something's gotta give with jack nicholson and uh, Keanu Reeves, which we, which I actually enjoyed, it was pretty good. But um, those three movies, so that pretty much kept me busy for the majority of the day. Um, so there's like about like eight hours there, right? So I only spent maybe three or four hours being bored, um, like at the airport. So like, so yeah. Uh, oh my god, this video is so long. This is gonna take forever to fucking upload. But yeah. So besides the fact, um, our flight didn't actually leave until two a.m. in the morning. So I didn't actually get, so the original plan was for, I, I was going to go to school on Friday, so fuck that shit, right? So 2 a.m., our flight didn't leave till 2, 2 a.m., and then I didn't end up getting home until 5 a.m. So that was shit, that shit was crazy, because our flight got delayed again, even when we were on the plane, because apparently there was a few people extra on the plane that were not supposed to be on the plane, so they actually got security to like, kick them off. So that was pretty crazy, there were these like Chinese guys, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, so maybe another half an hour just waiting on the plane for us to fucking even get ready to take off. So that was bullshit, right? So we didn't end up taking off till th- two, two fucking thirty in the morning. So we got, off, so we actually got home at five, and I just slept. I actually woke up at two thirty p.m. the next day. So yeah, that shit's crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much my my trip, guys. Um, I know some crazy ass stories, right? Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my New York trip. Uh, if you have, if you have any comments on, on anything, please do leave a comment. Um, I really enjoyed New York. So in in the in the, uh, in the and what, everything that happened, I enjoyed New York. I love New York. It is the greatest fucking city on the planet. I can now, to some degree, understand why Americans say that America is the greatest fucking country in the world. Um, to some degree, I can kind of agree with that now because of what I just fucking witnessed. So, yeah. That's all I have to say, guys. Canadian 69Gamers here. Peace out.